of love for Michael Jackson for those who loved him for the next few days at the very least. And somewhat of a, a twist here, his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame has not yet been adorned with flowers and, and mementos because it was covered up in red carpet for the Bruno premiere. We're told that that carpet will be removed shortly and that people will be allowed to do that. So this is the place everybody's been coming. I met several people that went to Hollywood first and found they couldn't get to the star and decided to come here, Shepard. Yeah, Adam, we're looking at uh, live pictures at one of those little makeshift memorials you talked about. This is rant from randomtv.com as people are gathering there in Los Angeles and quite frankly from coast to coast. In fact, people were coming together in Times Square here in New York City. We're told that the crowd groaned when the news first flashed on the big screen in Times Square. Uh, it's a Fox News screen there, and at the bottom of the screen it said, Michael Jackson now confirmed to have died this afternoon. People uh, making audible sounds, grabbing their cell phones to spread the word. Our Julie Banderas is at the crossroads of, crossroads of the world right now. Julie. Everybody grabbing their cell phones and getting on Twitter, Facebook, my page, you name it, Shep. Uh, in fact, in one of the tweets uh, sending me from Mary Beth Hutchinson, I remember as a kid getting the album Thriller and practicing in front of a mirror the dance moves I could never get right. Well, here in Times Square, it's now about midnight Eastern Standard Time. Tommy, go ahead and swing the camera around just to show you the masses of people here in Times Square. Now, as a New Yorker, Shep, you know Times Square was always packed with people, but tonight people are just standing around. There's not the sort of energy and excitement that you would normally see in Times Square. Sort of silence, if you will, in the middle of Manhattan. Uh, and there are fans from all over the country, all over the world. We have Ashley here, actually, from North Carolina. Uh, you were a childhood fan of Michael Jackson. And watching him from childhood up until through his adult years, uh, you were a bit disappointed as a fan. I was. Um, I love Michael Jackson. In 1983, I, I uh, dressed up like him for Halloween and won a Halloween competition. I loved him. Um, and it's a shock. It's a total shock. Um, you would hope that more would have become of him before his passing. Yeah, I would have hoped yeah. that um, he would have maybe I don't know, himself. redeemed himself. Yeah, yeah redeemed that. himself. That's what a lot of people hear. But, of course, they're not forgetting the wonderful music that he once produced. Uh, you guys are from California, and you, too, are both big fans. This is big news out in California. Here you are uh, at the crossroads of the world getting this news. Your reaction tonight? Um, it's, it's very sad. Despite the recent controversy over the past few years, his music really was influential and was kind of a sign of the times. So it's definitely a major loss to the music community. Yeah, very somber mood here in Times Square. A very rare one, too, if you notice how quiet it is, Shep. Not something you often hear here in Times Square. Shepard? Julie Banderas live for us. Michael Jackson's music career started as a family affair, of course. He and his brothers found fame in the Jackson Five in the 1960s, and not long after, paramedics brought him to the hospital this afternoon. His mother showed up, along with his sister LaToya and brother Jermaine. This evening, Jermaine Jackson, who now goes by another name, gave a brief statement at UCLA Medical Center, and here that is.